just go and see the world and just show them What it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby, yeah, we're golden They're about to see it shine, cause we're golden They can never break us down Morning, Grand Middle School. My name is Jeremy My name is Drewy Today is Tuesday, March 9th, 2021 Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. There are no artworks we haven't shown already this week. Remember, if you want to draw something that is leprechaun themed, or already have a drawing that's leprechaun themed, consider sending it to us. In 1931, precisely 90 years ago, the electron microscope was discovered. For those of you that are thinking to yourselves right now, that sounds complicated. It's essentially just a really, really, really powerful microscope. If you want to compare, your average microscope that you bought on Amazon can see around 10 to the negative 6. Meter objects, aka a microscope. But let's say you bought an electron microscope. An electron microscope can see 10 to the negative 10 meters, which is a tenth of a nanometer. Basically, an electron microscope is approximately 10,000 times more powerful than your average microscope. Another thing happened today. Ivan Ivanovich, a dummy for testing the Russian spacecraft Vostok, was launched into space for the first time in 1961. He was made to look as lifelike as possible. He even had eyebrows, eyes, and a mouth. Unfortunately, he looks like a dead person due to the effect called Uncanny Valley. So people put a sign that said it, the Russian word for dead under his visor so people wouldn't get confused. He flew into space with a dog, some reptiles, and 80 mice and guinea pigs. A recording of a choir was placed inside his body to test the communication systems. He flew into space another time just 17 days later, but there was an important difference this time. He had a recipe of cabbage soup along with the choir. Today is National Meatball Day. Meatballs are something you'll probably find in your spaghetti in a local random restaurant. It is said that the earliest meatball recipes were found in ancient China, Arabia, and Rome. Beef, pork, and veal are the most popular meatball types, but can also be made out of chicken, fish, or even vegan meatballs. And tomorrow is Mario Day. Yes, it exists. I'm sure you know the game Mario, which was released a billion years ago, aka in 1983. It's pretty old. Mario is said to be the best-selling video games of all time. Be Beating Pokemon. <laughs> We have a birthday today. Bobby Fischer, an American chess grandmaster, was born on this day in 1943. He was a chess prodigy, winning his first chess championship at the age of 14, becoming the youngest to do so. When he was 15, he became the youngest grandmaster ever, and at age 20, he got the only perfect score in the history of U.S. chess. He learned chess with his sister at 6, but his sister quickly became uninterested. He loved to play games by himself. When his family was on a vacation in Long Island, he found a book about chess and studied it intensely. In 1950, his mother thought that he was spending too much time alone playing chess against himself. So she sent a postcard to the Brooklyn Eagle asking for them to put an ad into their newspaper looking for children around his age who could play chess with him refused to put it in but forwarded it to someone who they told him would play another person and someone watching that asked him to play in a club which is where he learned how to play chess well and got him to all those awards unfortunately he passed away at the age of 64 in 2008 we will announce the winners of the guest the teacher
guys get ready because tomorrow is an asynchronous wednesday so get sure to turn in your work by 3 30 or no meatballs for you so link to this awesome video will be sent to the google classroom if you want to rewatch it for any reason and uh you should watch it because we said so all for today have a great day and go bears brought to you not so live by gms tv